Hello, welcome to another unboxing. This time it's the Retro Machine Arcade X. Now I've seen this one a few times and if you'd have shown this, I mean I'm 50 now, but if you'd have showed me this age 10 when I was queuing up with my 10p along with all the other 10ps along with a Defender machine in an arcade and showed me that it could be possible to put 300 games and a screen not on, not one of those little LCD where it jumps, a proper screen, a 16-bit games machine in something this size, I would never have believed it in my lifetime. But how things change. So this is a, this is going to be a real fun unboxing, this is. I don't think they're the actual arcade games, they're sort of clones or near enough. But there's 300, and um, I like the look of this one. There's, there's, there's different ones, you can even get a keyring one, believe it or not. So um, I'll give you a quick close-up of the box first. So here we go. Just showing the uh, any writings that may be important so you get a, an idea of what's on here. Different languages. Oh, it's got quite a few more pictures of um, some of the games that are on here. Some you may recognise, and some I certainly don't. Uh, this was around £30 on Amazon. I mean, when I had a Mega Drive back in the day, that I could easily pay that for a cartridge. And when I had my Atari, the original Atari, not the 2600 one before that. I just started work in 1982 and I earned £30.50 a week in Gateway and the cartridges were 30 quid. so I'd actually spend, so I was living at home still then, I would actually spend a week's wages on one game and they weren't half as good as these. I mean, I expect you can, yeah, you can buy the actual Atari, now the little console with all the games built in. I mean, I had things like Yars Revenge and Breakout, I had the Defender, I was really disappointed with the Defender one and um, Ms. Pac-Man and that was awful, was, that was, oh dear I've scratched the box, that was nothing like the, uh, the original and here we are 40 odd years onwards 30 years onwards and you can get the whole thing in a tiny little cabinet I mean I've got a little PlayStation Portable but I mean this is just, some of these old games they're, they're, they're just so much fun so I had to have this. It's surprisingly light. Uh, it looks like there might be something down the bottom there. Right. And there is, there's a, a guide. Telling you uh, what does what. I doubt really if anyone would need to uh, look at the guide really to uh, to get to know this. And there's different languages, but I don't think we really need it. Okay, so let me just zoom in a little bit. Right, so let's take this cover off here. Okay. I'll just get that. Oh, I'll be careful. It's one of those plastic screens. It's very easy to scratch by the look of things. So yeah, be very careful with that one. Uh, it's very easy to scratch that. So we've got an on and off on the back and we've even got a headphone socket. <laughs> wow. Playtime will vary depending on the brand of batteries used. For example, well-known battery brands tend to offer longer battery life in playtime. Okay, and there we are, Retro Machine Arcade X, and there's some anti-slips there. Sorry, there we go. 
I think this lights up as well. Right then, so what batteries do we need? Three double A's. Okay, and oh, that is so cool. So the controls light up, and this arcade at the front lights up. The on off switch also has another position. So if you move it across to the first position, there, it turns on, but the lights don't come on. So you can actually decide if you want the lights on or not. And you turn it on one more, then the lights come on. So you've even got control over the lights as well. And I should just explain that there is a reset button here, so you've got to be careful not to push that one because I would have thought that would have been start. So that's the reset button, that's on off, and then there's a volume button. So it's three. One, two, three, and off. Okay, so we've got sports, shooting, puzzle, arcade. Let me zoom in. Goodness me. So, sort of a Pac-Man type game, is it? Right. No. Right. God, the screen's really good. Don't actually know what I'm doing. Uh. I gotta get that thing, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, I have no idea really. It's sort of like a Batman.
Right. Okay. Fruit eater, that was called. Fruit collector. Rescue the girl. Could that be Donkey Kong? Yeah, it's Donkey Kong or near enough, isn't it? Well, sort of. Well, oh. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, for goodness sake. First sort of outer spacey one I've seen. Oh, what's this? Oh. So what am I do? Eat them? I've got no firing buttons really, nothing nothing there, so So you've got to try and work out what to eat and what not to eat. Okay. I'm hoping that there's gonna be a type of um Galaxian or Phoenix or something like that. Asteroids. No. Magic Johnny. It's a good idea. Try and put a contraceptive on using just magic. Star. Swing or something like that there. Outrun. I'm really struggling to see the screen at the moment, so I'm trying to get the camera angle as well. Fishing, zooming. Ah, it's a darker looking one, so maybe car treasure, maze bomber. Try shooting, shall we? Street man, super shooter, missile, sky fighter. Oh, Earth Defender. Ah, oh, that's like that. That's a bit like um, the beginning of Phoenix. No, the bone. That's like the bonus stage of Phoenix. 
Uh, things are getting better. I thought they would be under arcade, but... I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, change the camera. I'm going to turn the light out so you can see the screen a bit better. So the first thing I want to show you is just how nice it looks in the dark. I'll just get a bit closer to that screen. Okay. Now I'm afraid there might be a finger in the way here and there because uh, it is this style. So I'm trying to keep this finger back. Out of that one. My galaxy war. Oh. The sounds aren't too bad, really, are they? It's a bit like sort of scramble. I have no real idea what's sticking up and what I've got to avoid. I guess I've got to avoid uh, some of these structures here. Ah, an automatic fire. I meant to get over that bit. I haven't worked that out yet. I'm just trying to keep my finger out of the way. Oh dear. Alright. I don't know if that's anything like Defender. It doesn't look like Defender. What the hell's going on? What, what is this? Oh! Alright. Don't seem to be any fire. <laughs> uh, okay, so I have no idea what's going on there. Alright. Ooh. There used to be an Atari game a bit like this, and you actually had two different controllers with overlays with lots of buttons, and uh, as you went on, gradually the ship degraded more and more. It was on the Atari, it was brilliant. I used to rent it from a video shop, because I couldn't afford the controllers. Very much like this, and gradually the, uh, the ship got more and more damaged, and you had all sorts of reports coming in about what was going wrong. 
So I'm not really too sure. Buttons don't. I mean, I'm we controlling anything here. Don't seem to be controlling really very much on this. Is it called Astro War? Not like Astro Wars, the con the other one, the little game where you park the spaceship, not that, but it was it was like this, like you're looking out of a spaceship. So these are gonna take a little bit of learning. I don't know. Well, I've just realized the joystick um has a press down as well. So I, I don't know what's going on there. Final man, Archer. Ghost Palace. Let's get all scary. Ah. Let's try the other button there. Aha. No, I thought it was a power up. Obviously not. Right, so the second button is jump and the first one is fire. And that is not a pizza coming out that, that is a ball of fire, I think, that you've got to avoid and jump over, yeah. I'm not too sure where the ghosts come into this. Is that what's flying over about the ghosts, is it? Onto these. No. No. So I'm trying to keep my finger out. The, oh dear, I'm trying to keep my fingers. It's very hard to do that. Let me just kind of move. Now that's a bit better. I'll move the screen down there. You can't. You just can't see my right hand. You can just see the end of the joystick. Well. I wasn't that scared on that one. Hard mission. So, you know, this is for people who are hard. So you've really got to know what you're doing. to work out because my eyesight's not great what what are power-ups and what actually are things to hit I guess anything it looks like a bird ah. but sometimes you can hit power-ups can't you well that's a bit better than than some of them vigilant more zone Base War 2. 
Wow, that reminds me of uh, Super Harrier. I love Super Harrier. I don't know if you remember, that there was an arcade version with a seat that moved as well. No, Space Harrier, wasn't it? Space Harrier? You had this sort of 3D-ness where you were going along, but Space Harrier was a lot better than this. <laughs> Can't really seem to hit anything. Ah, oh, it's different weapons. Is that any better? Have a go at shooting a balloon. Should be alright at that, should I? Oh god. I mean this is actually this is a living acid tab, this is. This is like the new wave of drugs. Such a good um, tab of acid that you uh, don't want to swallow it. If there's any children watching, don't take acid, kids. It will mess you up. like a load of bears, like the head of a bear or something, with ears sticking out, or a cat or something. I don't even know what it's meant to be. All I know is there's a pink house in the background. That's, that's the most important thing when you play this. Dream of that pink house. Could be yours if you get every single balloon. God, put me in hell. That one. <laughs> what else? Resistant. Oh, okay. For goodness sake! Not putting another 10p in that one. What else is there? Oh, we've done hard mission, haven't we? Final Fighter. Would it be amazing if I pushed this and Final Fantasy 7 started playing? <laughs> So this is a bit like Battle Zone, I suppose, really, yeah. Nearest thing. Though the things aren't so far away as in Battle Zone. And next I've got a green helmet and blue glasses, that's very important. I'd rather not have a picture of me, I'd rather have a picture of some sort of 360 radar so I know what's about. So far, it's not that hard this one. Just keep it on moving, just oh no, that will get away.
No, you can't go forwards. Right, okay. What? Battery? No way is the battery fair. I've just put them in. I'm going to ignore that. That's trying to put me off because I'm winning. That's all it is. The game's cheating. Well, they don't seem to be firing back. Or maybe it's the first sheet they don't, or... I don't know. So far... Not much going on on this one. If that's the case, and these... And it really has worn down these batteries this quickly, I think I might wire and solder an, uh, an adapter onto the back of this unit. So I only need to find a 4.5 volt adapter and do a little bit of soldering in there. That would be that. I could actually put a socket in. I've just, I just um, realised that <laughs> the battery flashing, you can't see it. It's the battery on my camcorder. <laughs> oh dear, I'm a wally sometimes. Oh, I can't move. Well, that's not very hard, that one. Not very hard. Dragon's Den. I think I'll go and pitch uh, something to Deborah, and she could be playing with her fingers. Hello, I'm a nonsensical child. I want to put to you my uh, YouTube channel, which has only got. 400 subscribers and I've just lost monetization on it. So how long have you been running your channel? Oh, 10 years and you've got 460 subscribers. Yeah, something like that. I think you're deluded. What's your channel called? Oh, Nonsensical Child. Well, I don't think you're going to make much money with that. Oh, damn, I just got run over by a ball. I thought it was a power-up. Oh. Oh, I just realised they're dragons. I, I thought they were um, some sort of bits of hay or something. <laughs> no, it's a jump. There's a jump. Got a jump. Oh, no, they've disappeared. Now what? Oh, it's an arrow. Right, okay, I'll go this way. Oh, I thought that was a power up. Don't like that game. I didn't win. Prey is a religious one there. Frontline. Find a dealer. F22. Ice, ice ocean. Let's let's go on the ice ocean. Oops, pushed the wrong button. Now, here we go. What the hell's going on? Ah! Fish invaders, I think you should have called this one. Well, I hit the fish, but... They keep coming back, so let's 
to show what that's all about. Now I was hoping that was going to bounce inside then, but no. Doesn't seem. No, just keep your finger on the uh, fire. Uh, I don't seem to die at all. Well, of course, some games will be better than others, won't they? Let's just see how long it takes me to die. All I'm doing is pushing the fire button continually and just moving along to get these blocks. That's, that's all I'm doing at the moment. Oh, now I'm having trouble getting this block now. Ah, that's the one. If you've just joined this, I'm getting bored. Playing a game. One of 300 on my new console, my own personal arcade console. Uh, I think we should have called this game Impossible to Die 1. Yeah, I think I've had enough of this one. Well, it's, it seems to be pretty pointless, yes. Anyway, there we are. What's that one? Utmost Warfare. This is the, the highest amount of warfare you can possibly get on a game. work out what are stars I guess the stars stay still and the rest moves about that is quite oh no oh oh dear well I've had enough of that one already I really was hoping for one, like, Phoenix Galaxian type game. Maybe there is one here somewhere. Put Dragon's Den. Done hard mission. I'm just looking for the Deer Stalking. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't want to kill a deer. Mind you, I quite like venison burgers, so... <gasps> oh, 
Oh, I don't want to kill that. I, I miss. There we go. Yeah, that's it. I'm not. I'm not. Don't want to go hunting for deer. Thank you. That's for Americans. That one, I think. Prey. Plan. Defense. Yeah, that's good. Star Soldier. Ah. So it's a bit more like it. Oh, yeah. Yes, this is more like it. Oh. Oh, hell. Oh, no. That didn't work out too well, that one. Wow, this looks really hard. It goes from one extreme to the other, doesn't it? Ah, sweet spot. Oh no, where do I go now? Oh hell. Where's that sweet spot? Is there one there? Is there one there for the other one? No, right there maybe? No, no, that's not it. Not very star like Galaxian type music, is it? Oh, I thought I moved enough. Well, this one's a bit better than most. But it's more like you've got to memorise where you've got to go. It doesn't give you many clues as to uh, where to go in this thing. All I know is I've got to go to the right to the first bit, and that's about it. And there's no smart bombs, so... Got enough of that. Skywalker? I don't want to be a Jedi. Shrek. Have I played that one, Earth Defender? Did we do that one? Oh, yeah, we did, didn't we? No, we didn't. It's the same bottom as the other one. Too sure what's going on here. Oh, there's a tight Phoenix type noise there. See where I am. Where am I? Oh, there I am. No, it's into the world. No. Right, so this is a bit more like um, Galaxians or Phoenix or one of those. So I'm a bit more happy. But the background is a bit of a nightmare because I can't see what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing now. I have no idea what, what's going on now. Oh, I'm dying. That's what's going on. Phoenix! This is Phoenix! Phoenix of a really shitty background to get on your nerves. Phoenix doesn't need a background, it just needs them. 
Okay. So, I wonder if I can get to the, the what do we call it? Oh, they changed the eggs next if it's Phoenix, isn't it? And then the hatch and you've got to get them before they uh, come out. And then the space station comes down after about six sheets, isn't it? No! Didn't have the background. Yes. No, oh, I don't know where I'm going. You get plenty of lives, don't you? Oh. No, I moved too soon. Damn it. on this control. Oh no, no, no! Oh. Damn it. Just how many, how many lines to get on this? I think it's been uh, incredibly. Um, I've got to concentrate. I could die at any moment. Yes. Come on. I'm no, sorry about that. The battery finally did die. <laughs> That wasn't a bad game. I just went to the bonus when the battery went. Uh, well, 30 quid, 300 games, three pence a game. Not bad, eh? And a lovely little console. Yeah, 
I'd recommend it. I think it's a lot of fun. And especially, I mean, if you were into, I mean, if you were, I don't know what age, Ted saying you had lots of action men and you actually wanted to make her an arcade, you could now make a real arcade with real screens. Well, I think it's very nice indeed. Yeah, that gets the thumbs up. Very nice indeed. So, thanks for um, popping in and watching me fail at games. That was just a selection of what caught my fancy on my first uh, power-up. Very, very nice little machine. Highly recommended. Yeah, so it's a lovely machine. Well worth the money. Three pence a game. Ooh. Oh. Tell you what. <laughs> Don't hit it in the corner. It doesn't like it. <laughs> Hang on, let's just... Nah. So if you're playing a game... Don't hit it, it doesn't like it. Yep. Don't hit it too hard, it's sensitive. <laughs> it does come back after a reset, so there we are. So be careful if you're playing the game. <laughs> I think mine must have a wire loose or something somewhere to do to do that. It's very quirky. I still recommend it. I don't think I'd be so happy if it did that if I was right into the middle of a game. Might have to take it to pieces and have a. Uh... Mind you, there doesn't seem to be any uh, obvious screw holes. It might be all glued together. In that case, it would be a shame to take it to pieces. Yeah, let's just spin those batteries around just in case it's them. Ah, there's two screw holes there. Well, I was holding the batteries that time. <laughs> Should we have a look inside? Can't resist a look inside now. Just in case there is a uh, dangling wire or something not quite connected properly, I could do something with. Gently does it. Okay, so everything seems to be sorted together quite nicely in there. Can't explain just from a, a quick look. Because these ribbons are soldered in, they're not they're not push-on ribbons. So I can't exactly explain to you why that crashes when you hit it. There's certainly enough room at the bottom to put a better speaker in. You attempted. Looking at it just just on without taking anything to pieces at all really, just looking at it doesn't 
doesn't really seem to be uh, anything loose. The soldering looks quite nice actually, looks okay. Oh look, there's another solder point there. VOV1, I wonder what that is. Hmm. Anyway, so uh, no, doesn't look. Be careful to catch it on the top parts there, look. That's how it all goes together. So, no user serviceable parts inside, really, to speak of. That was an unexpected little view into the uh, inside. Oh. Well, strangely, just taking it to pieces and putting it back together again seems to solve that problem. I'm a magician. I just can't help it. Anyway, so the Retro Arcade Machine X gets the thumbs up. It's a real little piece of fun. It's nice attention to detail having the uh, the lit parts to some day. Quite a nice to use, yeah, no real problems, there's no real problems with, with, with that. So anyway, so there we are, that's the Retro Arcade Machine unboxing. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. <laughs>